Okay, another day of designing. Let's see how this goes. Let's see what we have on the agenda. Here I go. Um, let's load the sucker up. And we're right here. Okay, so um, we we have these persona cards. Let's see. We have that. We have that. I want to make these smaller. So my concern was these, the size of these, you know, working there as well. So let's look at the cards becoming smaller. I wonder if I can. Oops. The cards are fucking huge. Uh, let's go lock. We'll bring this shit in here. We might have to figure something out with the little dillies. We don't necessarily have to have them over here on the side. Let's see, I wonder if I can. I can select both of them. Okay, so now the question is uh, these are the new cards, so let me get them together. We're going to make it all smaller. Yay. I tend to make things pretty big in um, TTS. Let's see. Holy crap, they don't they don't go smaller in the same the same rate. That's funny. Okay, so let me get this. I want to make these cards around the same size. What I could have done is just use these as a template. What do you think? Oops. Can't do it like that. Have to... We'll go like that. We'll kind of go like that. That looks about right, maybe. Maybe there. And then we will get this and try to size it accordingly. Let's take a look. Maybe it needs to be a little bit bigger. It's not too bad. Let's get both of these and go one smaller, two smaller. Let's see what that do. That's right on. Actually, let's go one bigger. Okay. I like that. There's the cards. The cards. There's that. Then let's look at this. Um, these. Okay, either I can choose to make these. Ah, okay, cool. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to redo those again. Again. Imagine that. Imagine that. We don't need this one. This is the template. Let's save that. close it open up stuff we'll go ahead and do this okay so we we'll to delete this one because all we need is really one of them what we can do now is we'll get this and we'll bring these in 
Let's make them bigger. Let's see if I assume they're about that big, right? And then I'll bring that one in. Mm. You know what? I'm, I need to show that this is number two. I was going to just put it where we put the coin on it. We can. But you need to know that this is number two. Put this here. got so many freaking numbers so let's go I don't know how many letters I have in stuff it could go uh, B or I just need to isolate these so they look a little different let's see what I can do If we did something like that, and then we just put this, you know, right there, and see if I can do it over here too. So, I don't know if I've already talked about this because I, I bitch about it shit all the time. Um, there was a question in the board game group that said, "Okay, so this I didn't read the actual post because this post has been done before, probably differently." But uh, okay, so the post is, "What is a good first date of what's a good board game for a for a date or a first date or whatever and unpopular opinion here we go don't play games on your first date unless you're both board gamers if you're both board gamers and if you meet somebody at a convention then yes by all means um you know, show them your dorky side. Play board games. You met in a dorky place. You're both dorks. Everything's great. If you didn't, and let's just say you met somebody and you want them to, you want to introduce them to your hobby. How about, okay, so this is not a slight, although I am a self-hating geek. I hate some of my geek tendencies. But, in general, I would say, why don't you get to know the person? That's more important. Talk. Get to know each other. Um, just sit back, have a drink and talk. Although, there are dates that you can have that you don't, like, maybe both of you aren't talkers. Yeah, that's a whole different story. But in general, it's really not a bad idea to more than talk, listen. Do a lot of listening instead of um, trying to fill that space with noise, like board games and stuff. But maybe you know that's just me. I'm I'm a self-hating freaking geek, and I wouldn't want like the geeky part. I wouldn't want them to necessarily engage with that until I was ready. What I want them to do is to know me and begin to me as a person. I just I say that, but then I'm, 
I'm with the board gamer. So, like, it, I, I think it, we would have a great first date playing board games, although we wouldn't play board games because we would just sit there and talk because we love each other's company and our relationship is based on conversations, really interesting conversations. A lot of them revolve around board games, but we find ourselves talking a lot more than board games. And, like, when I went to Australia to go and hang out, we didn't... Like, we could have gone to museums and done a bunch of stuff, but, like, there's plenty of time to do stuff. We wanted to spend time. We didn't do a lot of touristy stuff because I wanted to spend that time with her. But, at the same time, madly in love. So, I guess you tend to do things a little differently when you're madly in love, you know? Let's see. If that's there... Does it need to be a little bit? Let's find out if I got the, the size right. It's good enough. Okay, cool. That one doesn't bother me that's going to be slightly covered. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know? This could have been bigger. And let's say we're going to get one of these. We take one of these off. You know, we put it here. I think I can do a better job. Let's do a better job. Don't listen to me. I don't know shit. I'm only talking because I have to fill dead space with me talking and I don't have a whole lot of interesting things to talk about. I can tell you how to use Illustrator pretty well. I really think I should just go ahead and do a video series on doing it, on working with Illustrator. I've been thinking about it. I'm not really teaching anything anything to anybody about building games except don't be fucking scared. That's the main thing is don't be scared. Just build. Have fun. Build. Let your creativity run wild. Let your freak loose. As they used to say. Make this yellow. Yellow. Black. The hardest part I'm having with this is trying to make it the right size. We had a really interesting conversation today about gatekeeping. And um, you know, I've been talking a lot of crap about gatekeeping and like how it's a good thing, but I was thinking in the terms, not in societal, like trying to gatekeep out because of biases with your, you know, your color, your creed, your sexuality or anything like that. I was thinking about, uh, gatekeeping as a means to, as an industry thing. But the guy was talking that was talking about gatekeeping. He was saying that like the the language of gatekeeping was out of academia. Current language, not you know the not the definition like Webster's definition of gatekeeping. Because that we all have right. But this new definition where trying to they're really talking about keeping people out because of uh, those. I guess those bigoted reasons. And I'm old. Bec you know, like, language changes, and I'm not changing with the language. I'm not changing at the same speed that language is, is changing. But then so are the other people. So some people are talking about, and this is the thing that I've been arguing against, gatekeeping as a form of stopping... Uh, as the industry, as an industry stopping um, people with free form ideas just trying to come into the industry. Like my problem with Kickstarter and not having uh, not having a um, 
a way to vet some of the ideas. Like, I mean, it's it's incumbent on you to the the onus is on you to to change, like to change the way you do your Kickstarter. So, like, if you're a Kickstarter, you've got a design. You don't have to vet it. You can imagine that you've got the best design, and you don't necessarily have to vet it because the risk is put upon the consumer. And because the risk is on the consumer. There's a lot of people who have been burned by Kickstarters. The game's not being... They've been like subpar sometimes, you know? And my argument with gatekeeping had nothing to do with the biases of trying to keep people out of the industry because of... Even really keeping people out of the industry. My, my idea is that the gatekeepers are there to to do a check on what is... Kind of like vetting the 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 board games, you know. Like they'll take a look at it. They're the one putting up the risks for them for putting it out there. They're gonna try to make something that sells. Or if, like in my case, going to Uli and Spielworks, the idea is I'm going to a place that puts out a certain style of game, and maybe my game is fits as what they would consider a high-quality game, because the only ones to put out is high-quality games, you know? So, I had this thing talking about gatekeeping, and I was always, I was talking about a different version. I was talking about the, the little, a literal version of what gatekeeping is, in, you know, dictionary term, not, not the societal new... Uh, speak about what gatekeeping is in academia so you know it's a different world and now that we talked about it it was way more clear to me where my mistake was see I'm just old I haven't changed with the language you know the language here the language is changing the world is changing and I'm an old dude the, the moment that I realized that I was old, like, and I've got this theory, and it's not a real theory. I mean, it's not true, but for me, it's true. Um, there's two people who watch the same movies over and over and over. Two young people like and old people, like kids, will watch the same movie over and over and over, right? So do old people. And it's because, like, for me, I value my time, and... I'm not saying the movies were better, but I know that like if I go and watch a new movie, I'm in for a new experience. And although I crave a new experience, sometimes the juice isn't worth the squeeze. And we keep using that that phrase. So, you know, I don't want to uh, to waste my time with a shitty movie. So I end up watching the same movies over and over and over. And it's worse because I'm on streaming platforms. I don't have to get up and go and physically take it out of a disc that I've bought and you know I'm watching that same film that I've I'm going across the like dramas classics and then I'll see something that I haven't seen in a week and then I'll put it on like maybe in the last couple of years I've seen No Country for Old Men many times way more times than I thought I could tolerate like I thought it was possible for me to tolerate so yeah I'm, I'm wondering I'm thinking it's a sign of my age because I don't want to squeeze juice that's not worth squeezing. I might need to change. I might need to like actively take a role in changing that about myself. Just doing it proactive. No longer am I going to just watch the same movies. Although, when I was on the plane, I did watch a lot of movies that I wasn't... Uh, like, I watched Bullet Train. I watched this movie about a djinn that was pretty cool. Who felt This woman it had Il Idr Ildris... Idr Ildr was it Idris Alba? Whatever his name is. It had Idris Alba in it. And it was about... A jinn, this woman who's got wishes, and she, and basically, the jinn was like a sex object, kind of. 
interesting. I forgot the name of that woman. She's in really good movies. She picks really good roles. She was in um, she's a blonde lady with short hair, very striking features, like very sharp features. She was in uh, Burn Before. She was what's I think she was Clooney's um, hus- uh, wife in um, Burn Before Reading or something. Burn after reading or whatever the fuck that show was called. Okay, so we got this. Uh, yeah, that was a big rant for nothing. Nothing important came out of that except to say that I'm getting old because I'm watching the same films over and over and over, and I didn't think that was possible. I don't do that with music. Music's completely different. Like music, I want to hear new stuff all the time. My talk, although, oh shit, no, okay, so now I gotta make it bigger again. That sucked. Let me try to make these about the same size. Music, I pride myself on looking for new things, like, pride myself. I, I. And not commercial stuff. Just like really hard to find stuff. It's not, it's too big. Okay, so it was smaller than that. Is that too big? Probably can go a little bit bigger. Let's find out. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that size. Okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, with music, I'm different. I like innovation. I might be wrong about it being a sign of old age, but it feels like it. I just don't find, like, that's how you become, like, dare I say this, so hear me out before you, like, I am left of center, closer to center than I used to be, not because, well, I th- I thought, not because um, I had changed, but because the world had changed. But but I realize now that I had changed a little bit. There's, you know, there's back in my day kind of a feeling. You know, back in my day. So there's a little bit of that. I like the size. Look at that. It's not too big. At some point, this shit will be on. I, I'm going to fix all that. It's not going to have all that shit on there. But we got to make sure it works, so... It goes there. Here is our market. We'll go ahead and put our market here. Because maybe at some point we'll put it on that side. Uh, here's the card row. We can bring all this shit closer. Let's do it there. And we'll figure out the rest. Um, what time is it? Okay, so let me see if there's any change, other changes I can make before... We go and uh, save it. Let me go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to save this version. Overwrite that song, bitch. And let's go ahead and set up for a game real quick. And then we'll save it and then not save it. Uh, we'll save it and we'll stop the stream and then we'll start another stream with an actual game and see where we're at. Alright, so we'll get the Persona cards, the fixed Persona cards, gray, okay, and book goes here, this goes here, uh, no, excuse me, it's book, that, that, oh, not that, what the fudge, looks wrong, what the hell is wrong with this thing? It's not right. 
And this goes here, this goes here, these two colors are switched. See that? Because that should be a book. And so let's look at this thing. What's wrong here? That's right. That's right. That's right. This thing is wrong. Okay, so let's fix it. Well, now we have something to do. Is that different than this one? Yeah, these need to be fixed. Okay, let's fix them. Uh, here. Let's go ahead and move this over. Let's go ahead and make the blue version so that we can save this some bitch. Okay, then we'll close that. We'll go here. What was I going to do? I'm going to fix these. And then the way to fix it is to look at our manifest. I made a little manifest. Did I screw it up? There it is. There she is. Okay, the problem here is that I changed these to a much newer version. But, okay, so in this case, let's fix this. This coin is either blue or purple. So we're going to make it blue. And then we'll make this one. This can be green. Okay, this one. Let's see if that's right. That does have one of those. That blue has one of those. Red doesn't have one of those. So that's not right. So this is... Uh, what has... Okay, this... What, what does, this is green instead green and then this one means that this one is red that one's done okay so the other thing that could be here with a book okay so this can be blue but this if this is green and then this one can be what it can be red this one cannot be this one can be red or green and it can't be so what so if we did this green that means that this one has to be purple which makes this one blue which is fine both of those have the same blue. Hmm. Let's see what I think. I think I made new ones of this. Maybe I've got it saved and I don't know. Because these persona cards are way the fuck wrong. Maybe it's these. Let's see. Let's see what these look like compared to the other ones. They're the same. All right, I'm just gonna have to redo them. That sucks.
Let's redo them. Okay, so we'll get this. We'll go ahead and object path outline stroke. Remove this. Make this smaller. I've got a dog problem I gotta deal with in a second. So I'm gonna stop right there as I'm working on this. I'll stop right there. I'll fix these persona cards when I come back, because we're at 30 minutes, and take my dog off of the, I've got a dog that will not jump off of the bed, so it's too high for him, so I'm going to go take him off the bed, I need to give him doggy steps, take him off of the bed, and come back and do this soon, alright, so, um, answer messages and shit like that, so, anyway, I'll be back, how do you turn this damn thing off, please follow me all on, on Twitch and on YouTube, subscribe, if you're interested in this game and as it develops, well, hopefully we'll get a chance to play this tonight. Uh, that's my hope. Anyway, how you turn this damn thing off?